I've lost two. I've lost two. I'm memory. And I may be. This and is the, the current, current situation. situation episode four. four. Quattro. Quattro. It is Friday, March something. Eighth. Friday, March eighth. Oh, it was down here. Oh, well, yeah, that's what it is. Um, how was your oh. week? Horrible. How was yours? Just a week. Well, it was a short week, so, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we took Monday off, back from Nashville. Um, took a day. Yes. Caught up. Rested a little bit, kind of. Played catch up at work. Yeah. Enough about that. Yep, moving on. Moving on! Yes. Um, this week, when we were in Nashville, we got a copy, oh, I didn't bring the book, we got a copy of the Needleworker Cookbook. You showed it in the last video. I showed it in the last video. Mm -hmm. Um, this week we made Crock-Pot Chicken. It was called Crack Chicken. Um, if you have the book or know someone who does or can get someone to send you the recipe. It was really good. It was very good. I added some buffalo sauce to mine. Yep, and he added buffalo sauce. In it was head. amazing. But it was very good. Highly recommend. Got a couple more recipes marked that we can try in the next couple weeks and let you know how they are. But excellent cookbook. It was a really good idea. Um, really cute. Enjoyed that. Um, we want to say thank you for everybody who is watching and subscribing and coming back. Because evidently they think we're entertaining. Um, I'm entertaining. Yeah, they say you're a... Please tell me why you're drinking coffee out of a straw. Don't you drink your coffee out of a straw? No. I don't have a straw in Yo, my look coffee. look at that. Look at that. My friend Tara sent me that. It's awesome. <laughs> it might not be coffee. Or it might. Um, shout out and big thank you to yeah. um, Melanie, right? At the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail on Floss Tube here. Um, she did a really nice shout out to us and a recommendation for new folks to come check us out on the channel. We really appreciate that. And then we had, um, did we write it down? Fudge and Frogs on Instagram. Um, she did a nice tag post for us. Um, just trying to send people our way. We appreciate that. Um, they do like me better. No. Oh. <sighs> what you working on this week? You had any finishes? So why don't we start with you? Oh, can I have some like applause or something when you edit? No, I have music. Um, I think it shows you guys. Last week I've been working on Mani, Mani de Donna. I think it's a foreign. Um, summer birdhouses. Oh, um, boot me out the way. Nashville Saturday night, I think we had um, some extra time, so I got some stitching in. Um, it's finished up. The middle button came with the kit. Uh, I think it's a jab code, but I'm not sure. But it all came together. It's stitched on 18 count relic from Picture This Plus. I did two over one. Um, it's cute. I like it. I'm going to hand it over to. The master day finisher of the house here this week, so maybe next week we'll have an F, 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 F. How many Fs are in it? Two. Who's the master finisher? That would be you. Oh. Yeah, that would be you. <clears throat> um, so she always comes up with some really cute ideas, and we'll see what she can do with it. Um, that's cute. It, overall, it took me about three days to stitch it. I like it. Um, I did a lot of substitution. I couldn't tell you what they were. But one of them was the... Yeah, I know the, the blue. House. I know the the blue. That's a boat. Oh, I know the boat. It's I still used, a birdhouse. Uh, color and cotton. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was supposed to use it. Mm -hmm. That we just got. It came in the mail, but it was the perfect color. So shh. They'll never know. Yeah, they will. Cause I just said. I don't know why you're being so mean to me tonight. <laughs> Why am I so big? Um, the other is is a fully finished object. Um, it is a piece that I stitched years ago. I think 2003, 4, or somewhere around in that time frame. Um, it had been in the infamous UBB box, but ours is kind of an in the closet box, not under the bed. Under Actually, it was hanging up. And we took uh, it, it down. It was in the laundry room because we needed the frame. Yes, for yeah. something else. We sold the frame. 
Um, so we sent it to our good friend Sam. Amy will link her below. She does have mm -hmm. an Etsy shop. And she transformed it into a wall hanging for me. Um, I don't know the pattern. I don't know the chart. I don't know who made it. Sorry, it's not ironed. It is not ironed. Um, but she just put a backing on it and there is some batting in the middle, I think. Not batting, it's uh, uh, batting fusion. fusion stuff. Yeah. We're not, we're not so worried. Yeah, we're not. Anyway, um, this is probably the only sampler-esque piece I've ever done. I liked it when I got it because of those flowers right there. I don't remember how long it took me. When Kylie was younger, she would be in gymnastics two, three nights a week. And this is the piece I would work on in gymnastics. So it is done. We will hang it on our wall upstairs. And that's Mati. What did you got? Um, I don't have any cross stitch finishes, but I have two design finishes. Um, I will insert some pictures throughout while my speaking. Um, one of them is Relaxed by the Sea. Um, it says Relaxed by the Sea, and it has a sand dollar in the center of it. And I'm going to send it off to um, a gentleman by the name of Oliver. He's going to um, stitch it up for us. Um, very nice of him to do for us. And then I have another one. It has a seahorse on it, um, which I'm sure you're seeing now. Um, is probably covering her face. Oh, just kidding. Um, and it says, be beautiful, wild, and free, just like the sea. Um, this looks small. It's under 100 mm -hmm. by 100. Mm -hmm. Was it like 90 something? Like 90 something. By something. I don't remember what it was. But they're two really small pieces that I just wanted to get in um, before we um, hopefully get into the truck show at SitchCon. So. And Details, now, TBD. To be determined, yes. Did I say that right? To be determined? Yeah. Whips. What you been working on, Amy Lynn? Really? You had to use my middle name? Memory? Was I not supposed Michelle. to do that? Michelle. I wasn't supposed to do that. I'm sorry. What? Don't talk about that. You can just edit it out. Whips. Whips. I do have a stitching whip. What? I swear I'm gonna knock you off this bench. Carry on. So I did not. I said I'm gonna knock you off the bench. Okay, okay. Carry on. Alright, this is the one I had been working on for the magazine. Um previously which the picture is probably somewhere already inserted from previously but I just had the uh, pumpkin done and now I've got these two shells done this year this little green mess going on it's gonna be what is that squash uh, um, yeah squash some sort is that, is that what you call it? I think. you know that thing that you don't eat yeah mm -hmm. you don't eat vegetables yeah so it's gonna be a squash and then a cornucopia up back behind it so that's my flip. And then um, my other whip is a design whip, which is my merman, which I picked back up again. Um, I do have his tail all colored in now um, with the help of my loving wife over here. I am not going to do that. She picked the colors. Um, and then I have colored in his chest and then his hair. I've started his hair. Um, I just got to do it in some shading and then I'll work on the rest of him. How about yours? Oh my gosh. Oh um, my gosh is right. I have a big old mess over here. Um, not quite as much stitching time this week as I normally would have had because Sunday we were at market. Monday was a tra travel day. Horrible travel day. Um, and then Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday I had to go to work earlier so I kind of lost my usual hour of stitching time. Um, so not quite as much. Um, I did continue to work on story keep magical arrival um, Amy will put a picture of where I was before but um, just got a little bit more done on the bow it's confetti hell right now so the big blocks of color done it's a lot of color changes in there um, I'm actually gonna put this one away for March and April and work on some other things and I plan to pull it back out in May when Kylie's birthday rolls around. Her birthday is single de Mayo. And when we get to May, I'll tell y'all what wonderful things I used to do Kylie on her birthday. 
Um, but I'll pull it back out and may put it up so some other things can get some time in. Um, last week I started um, stitching the Anchor Series Webmaster, um, Amy's design for part of the Anchor Series. And as soon as I get it finished, we can put it in the Etsy store, but um, I ran out of floss. Um, so it's coming along. This is Gasps um, Gentle Arts Carrot, and it is DMC at 12, mm -hmm. 310. 310. So I don't know if you can see the sparkle. It is stitched on fabric called Golf Course. It's really interesting. It feels very rubbery. Um, like a golf course? Yeah, like green. Like, you've got, feel it. Isn't that weird? It's got cool. like a plasticky feel. Um, but love it. So tomorrow we get to go to the LNS because. You know what that means? Five dollar minimum. Five dollar minimum. Because I ordered from Market, but it hasn't come, and I really just want to get this finished so it can be done. Amy can do her thing, and it can go up in the store. Um, but he's really, really cute. It's a pretty fast stitch. Yeah, you really can't see the sparkle. You can't see the sparkle, the but he is really sparkly. So love him. So, uh, we did give the dogs a bone to try and keep them quiet, but yeah, that's just not happening. Bad, bad, bad. Um, the only other thing, Amy will put a picture up, still working on Naughty. Um, we'll see if it shows up this week. I have been, you can't really see the light in the picture. I've been really working on that rope. So last time it was all plain, um, and you really can't tell, but this is all now filled in in white, all of this, and I've started up here. Um, so my goal, hopefully, for this weekend is to really try to at least finish the center part of that rope. Um, Good once, luck. Yeah, right. Once I get that, then I can come down here. Um, there's really more stitched in there than you can tell because it's a lot of blues and shading. Um, and you really can't see that white too much. But this is a lot of work, y'all, this week. Um, oh, my gosh. Baxter. <laughs> my one dog. He's free. Just kidding. He got no teeth. No. He's, He's like, free. Can we give him a discount since he got no teeth? Away. You would not give me away. Do you have to bang that glass on this Um, Was that the, the last thing I was... Oh, naughty. I'll come back to that in a minute. The last thing, I had a new start. Dramatic. You had a start. That's not right. Let's get it started in here. Um, for Bindi Stitchy, Michelle Garrett, love her, and we want to tribute to her happy birthday this weekend. So I'm participating in the BS Birthday Sal hashtag BS Birthday Sal. Um, Friday today for us is something with a B. So I'm stitching. Cross, oh, cross that cricket. The cricket collection. <laughs> Did you say cross? It that? says it on there. <laughs> or beachy mood. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you, many of you, are very familiar with it. Um, had it in the stash for a long time. Um, I have elected to stitch it on um, mint by Picture This Plus. It's a 28 count. Um, so I had to pick a different color for the A. We had to switch the colors because the A as charted is 3813 mm -hmm. and it was exactly the same color. Um, this one is a color in cotton. I'll have to tell you the name of it. Maybe Amy can put it in there. Because um, I just started this this afternoon for B, for beach. I've got the quirky but and there's a quirky butt. B for butt. Um, tomorrow is Saturday, stitch something with an S. Um, I don't know what that will be yet. And then Sunday was, what was Sunday? Bullshit. <laughs> Something that reminds you of Michelle or stitchy kindness, not bullshit. <laughs> she said a bullshit. <laughs> anyway, I'm not. You need to go back and read, or read, freaking A. Go back and um, watch it. Yeah. I told you you were supposed to remember for me. Um, hey, it's on Instagram. Why don't you go look on Instagram? Oh, oh wait. Instagram. You don't know how to use Instagram. <laughs> Old. Um, anyway, you next week. Oh, you. <laughs> next week we can talk about those because they'll be part of the whip. 
fantastical stuff going on over <laughs> here. Um, what you been watching on Floss Tube this week? Anybody new? I haven't yes. watched a lot of Floss Tube. I'm so busy. I lost my whole morning. What? How's your coffee? My coffee is wonderful. How is yours? It's better now that I put some orange juice in. Um, you put orange juice in your coffee. I did. Okay. Now I um, <laughs> such a dork. Um, I ran across um Stitching Mama. She actually um subscribed to our channel, and so I was like, "Oh, who's this?" And so um, I started watching her, and she's actually really interesting to watch. Um, she has a cute little kid. Um, yeah, I think she's in the West Coast somewhere, Northwest, maybe Oregon, somewhere mm -hmm. out there. I haven't watched that. Somewhere out in that region, I don't know, far away from me, or us, from you, us, you know, up in that colder region where they keep getting all that snow. Um, so we, I will tag her in the description and um, just give her a hand a, a watch. Um, I think she only has like maybe five videos, maybe six. I'm not really sure, but they're really short. Um, she does them like every couple of months or every other month or something like that. That every other month would be every couple of months. Yeah, you? that would be okay. every couple. Mm hmm. Wow, it's been a week. So, um, but yeah, just um, look her up and um, just watch her. She's really cute. Well, I watched The Usuals this week because I always get to The Usuals mm -hmm. first. So, I watched the, you know, of course, Pam and Steph's market video. Um, and Stitching Jewels, who I love, and Stitching Mommy, Mommy, not Mama. Uh, and today, if you have not had this experience, let me tell you guys to do it. I love Kyle. If I were like, a little younger and a little more straight and a little more I don't know I would like stalker Kyle because he's just I just love him um, but besides the point today I was at work so I was trying to watch Kyle's video and congratulations to the one point one one thousand five hundred subscribers okay. yes subscribers um, well anyway I watched him on two speed because I didn't want to get caught watching false tube at work because they make fun of me um you don't say yo kyle is awesome anyway but on speed two it's like kyle on crack <laughs> i was so entertained because it was just speed him up and watch it so you won't sorry um i think that's about it i finished jesse marie today and then miss oh so crafty um i was watching her while i was cooking dinner I hadn't had much time. So I don't have any new floss mm -hmm. tubers that I've discovered. Next week, we'll watch Bendy Stitchy on Saturday mornings when we have our breakfast mm -hmm. together. Yeah. That's a little... mm -hmm. yeah. You're pretty good. Um, Haul gifts and mail. Nobody loves this. No mail. I love you. All I got was bills. Anybody want those? <laughs> um, got a big one for you. Not really a lot of purchases this week because number one we haven't been anywhere but work and we went to market so and yeah the things in a couple of things we ordered haven't come in yet um, and tomorrow really the only plan at the LNS is to pick up some floss for um, a couple finishes that we're missing um, oh and for the project and we're yeah and we're meeting a couple of friends that we've actually been connected to through floss team and Facebook um, some locals some some locals and some from the Columbia area and. Um, was it Ridgeville, Ridgeway, Ridge, something, mm -hmm. somewhere nearby. Um, so we're just, since being on Floss 2, we're discovering a lot of people that aren't really local, but are as local as I guess we can find um, within like an hour, hour and a half radius. Um, so we're all going to meet at the LNS tomorrow and probably go have some lunch. Probably go have some lunch, just meet some new friends. So we'll tell you about how that goes next week. You the did get thing, some stuff in the mail. I was going to say, the only thing we did get in the mail... Um, and I'm sure many of you will see them. We did get our Color and Cotton Thread of the Month Club. Um, <coughs> pay no attention to Lucky. That Lucky, that's what it's called. Lucky is in the boat. <laughs> um, Y'all, it's the perfect color. So I broke the rule again. You need to stop doing that. But it was the perfect color. You're no, a rule breaker. A, I am a rule breaker. I know. That's why I have orange juice in my coffee. 
Anyways, I will continue on with this while she drinks her coffee. Carry on. Peony. How was you going to say that? <laughs> you know what? I was not even going to try. I was going to say pony. I mean, I really... <laughs> phony? I mean, I don't know. Isn't that a flower? Peonies? Aren't they a flower? Maybe. I don't know. It sounds like it could be a flower. With Alexa tower. <laughs> Let's not ask Alexa right now. Um, so that's that color. <laughs> We're gonna ask Alexa when we get off, y'all. Yeah. And then we have banana. You like that one? I do like banana. Mm -hmm. We don't have a yellow, lot of um, yellow mm -hmm. in our, no, our color. I like stitching with yellow; it makes me happy. And we have caramel brownie. I love that one. It's got a lot of, you can't really tell, but it's got some red going through it, like a crimson. Where do you of? see red in that? Looking on white. Nope. Okay, well, maybe not. Maybe nope. I'm thinking I see no else. red in that. It's brown and green. It's yeah. pretty. Where do you see green? That looks green to me. I think you need to go to the eye doctor. Don't you have a card on the counter? <sighs> That's yours. I already went to see her. Lapis? Lapis. I don't know what lapis is. We should really look these up before. We should be better prepared. And that's a lapis. I like that one too. So that's the color system. Um, we get the, there's like neutrals, primitives. We just get all the colors. We don't care what they are. We just like them. We have a big thread wall upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have to do a video one time. Yeah, we'll have to do a video about craft. Oh, craft no. Studio. Or studio. The studio, she calls it, where the magic happens. You know, some people's house is the bedroom and our house is. <laughs> studio don't know where we went wrong you can oh my out. god um how about your shop updates what's going on in the etsy world wow <laughs> really yeah just just carry on they'll never know yep yeah. let's see that segue shop Lord. updates shop updates um um we were really surprised that i <laughs> I got this, don't worry. Um, well, just with it being market and everybody excited about market yeah. purchases and things like that, we weren't really expecting a lot of traffic through the Etsy store. Um, so thanks to everybody who came and visited. Um, it makes us really happy when we just get the little notification that says someone favorited your shop or favorited an item. Um, just to be there to look around is just exciting for us to, to see that. Um, and thanks to the people who made purchases and left reviews and... Um, tagged us in posts and things like that it's just it's exciting for me it is um, very exciting and i think you put a couple of new things i up. did i did put some new um scissor charms up there oh there's some cute ones up there yeah. yes um i'll probably work on some more maybe next weekend maybe ish might be a little bit busy this weekend mm -hmm. um and there are some more needle binders up there um I have some more on my camera that I haven't put up there yet. So I've taken the pictures. I just don't have them up there yet. So I'm sure throughout the week we'll put some more stuff up there. And we got some new things to make. Um, with some Easter ones. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so yeah. there's a couple of things we'll be working on this weekend. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to be stitching. No. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so a sad note. Can you play me some sad music? Us. Like funeral music? <laughs> she gonna kill me? No, because it's sad. Um, not that sad. Not that sad. Not quite that sad. Like ballet, ballet. Like I was mm -hmm. really, really, really hoping we would hit 200 subscribers before our video tonight, y'all. We hit 199. 199. Which that in and of itself is pretty entertaining. Pretty amazing though, because I didn't think we'd get 10. I didn't either. And yeah. Yeah, people like me. Hmm. Can we carry on? This is semi live. Um, but thank you to everyone it's who. It's actually recorded it and it goes. Um, thanks to everyone who has subscribed and liked and commented, um, sent people our way, tagged us. Uh, we hope for many more. When we hit 250, we're planning a giveaway. Yes. Um, we'll probably put some of that together tomorrow when we're at the LNS. Um, look through some things that we have and kind of put together an idea. So once we hit 250, we'll have a celebratory giveaway because while that's not a lot to some of you, to us, it is um, a big deal for us. It's a big deal for us to 
live in a little small town where there's not a lot of stitching community and to be able to now say we have 199 friends. That's what we tell Kylie. <laughs> virtual friends. <laughs> virtual <laughs> friends. Um, so virtual hugs to everybody. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Um, the only other thing, we did birthday style. You said Stitch and Mama. We said Etsy store. She um, makes a list, by the way. To make a list. See, I learned, y'all. Um, the only other thing that I want to mention is on, I think, Monday, Ginger Gerald. Well, Ginger Gerald. Um, he announced his large project contest. So I think it was anything 100 over, 100 by 100 or mm-hmm. over. It did not have to be full coverage. So he's thinking that he's going to finish his King Henry in June-ish. So you can just email him a picture when you finish the project, and then he's going to kind of pick, I guess, what one speaks to him the most. Um, I don't know if there's prizes. I don't remember. He said there is. There's prizes. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think when I finish Naughty... Um, it definitely fits the bill. The sucker is huge. Um, that will enter that into the contest just to participate because nothing else in these bat worlds is going to be finished. In other um, words, she better stitch like fire over the next couple of months is what I'm hearing. Um, you know, I don't know. I think that... Well, when did you start Naughty? Do you remember? I started Naughty in December. Some time. I think December 19th. Well, I think once you get through the knot. I think once I get through the rope, the rest yeah. of it will go pretty fast. No, the, the knot itself. Yeah, in the middle. Yeah. Because um, the rest is just a border, and then the wheel is. Uh, that wheel might I don't know. Fun. There's a lot of netting down there, too. That netting. Um, yeah, but that wheel is. Mm, anyway. A lot yeah. of confetti in that wheel. It's I should be, be a hate designer. You might be one day. You never know. Um. Anyway, it will be beautiful. It will be breathtaking. We'll find a beautiful place to go down the wall. But I think I'm going to enter in that. So you can always go back. Um, it's Ginger Gerald Stitcher and his project. I think it came out Monday, it, and it's a separate video that's just entitled Large Project Contest. Um, so check that out if you're interested. Um, we're going to go because Amy has some orders to fill, and I have some BS st- stitching to do. I love it. BS stitching. Oh, my God. Um, otherwise, have a great weekend, great week. Yes. We'll be back next week. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, we figured it would be a short one today. We did figure. Yeah. Market recovery. Yes, market recovery. But I think we hit everything on the list. Yes, we did. Comment, like, subscribe. Yes. Talk about us to your friends. Only nice things. Swipe the right way. All right. Have All a right. great week. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.